There's at least two ways that you can perform image differencing for the purpose of looking time series analysis in Envy. What we're going to do here is look at differencing two different dates based on the normalised burn ratio. So the key thing I guess with looking at image differencing is that you can only look at two different dates at a time and you can only look at single band data. So we get away with this, the single band issue by using a ratio or an indice because then that incorporates, for example, in the normalised burn ratio, the both the near infrared and the mid infrared bands. But then we can still only do from one date to another. You can't do more than two dates. So the first way that you can do it is is go through band math and simply simply subtract one date from the other. Um, the other way that we can do it is using the inbuilt tool in Envy and if we go to basic tools, change detection and compute difference map, this allows us to create essentially a classification based on two different dates. So I ask you to select the initial state image. So for us this is going to be the October band of the NBR layer stack and OK with that. And the final state image we're going to use the June image here and OK again. Now, d it defaults here to give 11 classes, and if you want to have a look at how the classes have been defined, you can click on Define Class Thresholds. And that brings up a table that shows you um, the classes 1 through 11 and exactly what they're, what they're consisting of in terms of the value in your, in your, in your um, image map or the, the subtraction of your two bands. So if we look at, band, at classes 1 through 5, these are all positive values of change. So there's been an increase in the normalised burn ratio value from date 1 to date 2. Then we have a class that's based on no change, and that is exactly if there, is, if there has been no change in pixel value at all, which is a little bit unrealistic. So we need to really consider what the threshold is going to be for a, a value of no change in the environment. Then classes 7 through 11 are, are classes that indicate that there has been an, a negative change in your normalised burn ratio value. So that value has gone down from date 1 to date 2. So we're just going to keep these exactly as they are to start with. And then you can start playing around with these values and change the number of classes that are available once you've had, a, had the first go at it. So if we click OK here, and we'll leave it at simple difference and we're going to put an output difference map name in here. Um, so I've already created that. Once you run it you can have a look at it and I'll show you what it looks like when it's after it's finished running. So here we have the difference map and what you can see is is there's individual class values that are ranging from a blue to a red color. And if I click anywhere in the image, you'll see this a little bit closer. Now if I go to Tools and Color Mapping and Class Color Mapping, you can see exactly what, what color is relating to which level of change. So for example, the plus 5, which if we look back at the when we define the class thresholds, the class of plus 5 meant that there was a change in, in value of 0.8 or above. And this is the, the bright red areas that have been classified here. What we'll also find is that areas of no change, areas where the pixel value has not changed at all is a grey value, and where the pixel uh, where the pixel value has decreased is a blue colour. So the idea when you're looking at this is to have a look at the image and see if you think that it's realistic that the pixel value has for an area of no change on the ground is actually no change in the image also. So there's a 0% difference in, in your two dates of image. Now there's always a bit of an issue with radiometric calibration, so it's very difficult to get that perfect. So you might actually decide that uh, that is an acceptable threshold of no change might be anywhere from between minus 0.2 and plus 0.2, for example. So the idea is to, to go through here and you can have a look at changing a few of the different colours of each individual classes and then trying to get an idea of where the largest areas of change in the landscape are occurring. And you can already see that there's major patches of this bright red colour which is 
which we know from looking at the individual images that that's where the, that's where areas were burnt. So it takes a little bit of a bit of time to get used to exactly looking at, at this image and interpreting it, but it's it's really important that you look at this with respect to the the MBR images that went into making it as well.